Hurricane Wind Power. Complete air superiority. The name you can trust. Hey, Tony from Hurricane Wind Power here. It's been a while, so we want to do a video. And we're just going to show you how we build a few things here, um, put it on film, put it out there. It seems like everybody's coming out with some new stuff. So this is our dual rotor here. Um, you got a hardened, case hardened race that goes on here. And so a lot of time you see this lathe in the background. And what we do with this is we have to set an air gap and a new rotor. So I'll just show you a couple quick passes. I'm not going to go all the way with that, but uh, bring that in there. And uh, this is not the most pleasant part of this job. Actually, it sucks. You know, getting bathed in these metal shards on this interrupted cut with this lathe. So I put this little face here. Well, yeah. example of what we do so we're not going to take that down to what we set an air gap at. We use magnets so strong in the things that we build they will take your hand off. This is one that decided that it didn't want to cooperate with me earlier today. So, and this is probably the last stuff we're going to do with the Delco alternators because we're a renewable energy company we've got top grade electronics, we got axial flux generators, we got high wind energy, we got new products coming this year. So there is so much more to this. So we got a couple deeply discharged 100 amp hour batteries, 24 volt system, and we're just doing one of these things here like a lot of people do. Um, and we're going to show the output on this thing. Now I've always said that our single alternators if you hook them up and you apply appropriate torque to them you'll get about 350 400 watts you can look to get somewhere between six and eight hundred out of a dual if you apply appropriate torque now interestingly enough it appears that some of our competitors have figured out to get power you actually have to put power in I've seen and I've noticed that within the last few weeks that another company you know they've got a dual and you know now they don't have a blade big enough to turn it and ironically we we do and we'll get into that in a few minutes but let me just give you a quick show of what we got going on here uh, we just gonna flip on the drill and we're gonna show you what we put into a 24 volt battery bank with one of our heavy magnet PMX so here we go that's about 15 16 amps over 400 watts and you know I mean nothing's changed same stuff if it ain't broke don't fix it and um, that's that but getting back to putting um, torque into a blade this is a blade from a competitor that they use two of these now we have three and five of these blades and I spoke uh, probably a year, year and a half ago with Jeff from Missouri Wind and Solar and I had heard from our customers that um, the Falcon blades, that they were, they were notoriously fast, they were good blades, they had a good pitch to them, people liked them. 
And I asked him if he would consider making us a bigger blade to put torque in. And that's what we've had. That's why we've been running. And I've had these blades are the proper pitch. I've had them running in 70 mile an hour straight line winds, and I've had no problems out of them. These blades come in three and five um, blade hubs. So I mean, you can you can get massive torque out of this five blade. Now I just hold this up, and this is the old blue brand blade. They they've changed now to a 36 inch blade, but I mean it's still. You've got this surface area out here that makes this thing go fast. It's a quiet blade, and um, there's really nothing in the class to put the torque into the generators like these, and that's just my opinion, and that's from somebody who flies wind turbines. I have my product, I have it out, we fly it, we've had it out for a long time, no problems. Okay, so what we have here is one of the best thunderstorms to come through in recent memory. And we're going to look at the furl in action on the hurricane wind turbine. And we're running about 35, 40, 50 mile an hour gusts. And if you see there, the offset mounting, uh, we're running, we're tracking in the wind. And if you watch when the wind gets too high, the wind turbine will just come on around. So, you know, we got these 40, big 42 inch blades to make plenty of torque. And, you know, you see the demonstration of this thing when the wind gets too high, it comes on around there, as you see, uh, more facing towards the camera. There it goes again. And it regulates the speed and we can put up bigger blades. So I'm gonna do the smart thing and, uh, get myself out of here okay so we ran out of space but all i'm saying is is that we build good stuff i mean that's the bottom line so we've shown you you know there's the uh there's the generator there's the rectifier there's the there's the watts view sensor um there's the computer there's a 24 volt battery bank it, it is what it is man and um you know that's that's that and forsaking something different i think we're done with with uh with the uh delco wind power videos um i think we'll do some stuff with a tower but as far as the shop goes i think we've covered it